Zane is a zebra who is prissy, stuck up, selfish and chubby. Jerry is a giraffe who is manly, doesn't think about other people's feelings and doesn't care. Terence is a tiger who is a mean bully and picks on everyone. Our story starts out deep in the jungles of Africa with Jerry the giraffe and his friends Max and Kyle hanging out. Now giraffes, being the manly beasts that they are, were often known for being rude and rarely thought about others. In fact, they were known as the jocks of the jungle. Zebras, on the other hand, are beautiful in nature, all grace and sleekness. However, there was one exception, Zane, who was short and stubby but extremely proud. He even went to the jungle beauty shop to get his tail styled every other day. One day, while out walking, Zane passes Jerry and his friends, who immediately begin making fun of Zane. Hey, Stripey. What color are you? Black or white? And my, what a girly mane you have. Don't look down on me, long neck, just because I'm fabulous. Yeah, fabulously short. Yeah, burn! Anyways, don't hate me for being beautiful. Jerry and his friends laugh while Zane trots away. Later that day, Zane is walking down a jungle path thinking about how great he is. Jerry is sitting underneath the big eucalyptus tree, looking up in thought, trying to come up with new insults to throw at Zane. Because neither is paying attention, Zane bumps into Jerry's knees. Look out, skyscraper. Maybe you should get your snout out of the clouds long enough to watch where you're going. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a huge tiger jumps out of the bushes! Oh no, it's Terence the Terrible Tiger. Please don't eat me. I have too much to live for. See this neck? It's all bone, no meat. Eat the zebra. No, eat him. I taste horrible. These stripes taste like black licorice and everyone knows how gross that is. Yum, I love black licorice. Well, eat him, not me. He's a jerk. No, eat him. He's fat and juicy. I mean, look at him. Enough. I'm so hungry, I'm going to eat you both! Ha ha ha! Realizing that they have to work together to avoid being Terence's lunch, Zane and Jerry help each other out. Here, I'll lift you up into the tree with my long neck, and then you use your tail to help me climb in the tree. But if I use my tail, I'll mess it up. I just had it trimmed and styled yesterday. Oh, just do it. If you don't, we'll both get eaten. Rawr! Okay, I'll do it, but I won't like it. Jerry lifts Zane up into the tree, and then Zane lets Jerry use his tail to get a boost up. All the while, Terence is fuming and roaring because he can't reach them. You see, when Terence was a young tiger cub, his mother realized he had a horrible temper. She took him to the doctor and had his claws removed, something that angers Terence to this day. Since he can no longer climb trees, he realizes he won't be able to get Jerry and Zane, and he decides to leave. Rawr! Fine, I'll eat you punks later. Ha! Rawr! Terence slinks away. Zane and Jerry climb out of the tree. That was close. Yeah, if you hadn't been here, I would have been Tiger Toast. Thank you. No, thank you. If you hadn't been there, I would have been a 12 foot tall Tiger Chew Toy. Hey, maybe we should be friends because we make a really great team. Yeah. You should come to one of my jungle get-togethers. My giraffe friends can be real party animals. Yeah, but I hope we don't play basketball. Oh, because you're a lot shorter than all of us giraffes? Oh no, because I'm a terrible shot. Jerry and Zane became the best of friends and played basketball every weekend for the rest of their jungle lives. The end.